is Meresha Awiti. President William Ruto has signed the Affordable Housing Bill into law, effectively reinstating housing levy deductions from this month. The court had declared the levy unconstitutional for lack of a legal framework to anchor the deductions, forcing the Kenya Kwanzaa regime back to the drawing board to draft laws to govern the levy. And as Jeff Kirui reports, the ceremony at State House was elaborate, painting a picture of how crucial this affordable housing agenda is to President Ruto's legacy. Deductions for the contentious housing levy will take effect end of this month. This is after President William Ruto gave assent to the affordable housing legislation that takes effect immediately. Wajue pesa yao inachangia katika kubadilisha taifa letu la Kenya. President Ruto has been persistent about implementing his pet project of affordable housing to be anchored by the housing levy. He argues that other than providing decent housing for Kenyans, it will also fit in his job creation agenda. Wale walio na kazi leo, wajue ya kwamba kupitia kwa fund hii na mchango wao kwa fund hii, watu wengine wengi pia, vile wao wako na kazi, ata na we obed na wengine pia na wao, wanapata na fasi ya ajira, kulipa school fees vile umesema kwa watoto wao, ujisimamia, your Excellency, we should be having close to 300,000 young men and women working at our sites. The housing levy has been a subject of controversy and opposition from various quarters. In November, the High Court termed the levy unconstitutional for lacking legal framework as well as being discriminatory. The courts observed that only salaried Kenyans were targeted. This prompted President Ruto's administration to hurriedly legislate to correct the earlier flaws. Sasa hiyo sheria tumeinyorosha kabisa. Kuna watu walikuwa wamewachwa inje. Hawakuwa wanalipa hii. Sasa pesa imeongezeka zaidi. So tunashukuru mahakama wametusaidia kutuongezea pesa ya affordable housing. This program will define your legacy. And we want to assure you, those of us, you have given the privilege to work under you and to assist you in the management of the affairs of this great country. We are right behind you and we ask all Kenyans to support this program and to support our president so that we can dignify our people. The whole journey to providing housing, decent housing, affordable housing to the Kenyan people is now not fiction but it's a fact that is being undertaken. According to the new act, each applicant will only access one affordable housing unit verified through the national documents, including the national identity number, KRA PIN, and tax compliance certificate. Najuya Hayo, Pia Senate, who can make amendment about Lukubalera Nayo Kama National Assembly, ya kwamba hauta weza kuyuza hiyo nyumba even after buying it. So that this prevents people wale ambao wanaweza enda kwa kijiji wachukue watu wa bodaboda na wengine wachukue pin, pin certificate zao wanunue nyumba alafu waweze ku transfer back to themselves with the enactment of the affordable housing legislation what then this means is that employees and income earners will see a deduction of 1.5% of their gross pay and a similar amount paid by their employers in the next month for companies that have already closed the payroll, the Ministry of Lands, Public Works, Housing and Urban Development says they have until 7th of next month to pay the dues. Jeff Kiroi, KTN News, State House, Nairobi. Thank you, Jeff. Now, Kenyatta University is tonight mourning the loss of 11.